Hello, hello, and welcome back for another straight shot of Angostura as the bartender pours us another hit of bitter, bitter waiting in Perfidious Pete plays XCOM The Long War. And, if anything, the bitterness of today's waiting is super concentrated based on the fact that we are so close to our goal of getting somebody aboard the temple ship. As you can see here, it's going to be a meager five days until the blood-to-alcohol ratio in Lindsay Lohan's bloodstream rises above one to one, which will allow us to shove her in the nearest available tube for some psychic training. After Lindsay has been locked in the tube, because there's damn sure no way we're letting her out until she's finished, we're probably looking at another month of time at the outside. That would be the, the high end of it. If she gets as unlucky as Stanley Yelnats from Holes, it should take a month, but that would be, again, worst case scenario. Although, Lindsay's worst case scenario of being as unlucky as Stanley Yelnats was actually best case scenario for Shia LaBeouf, because Stanley Yelnats easily Shia McBeef LaBeouf LaBeouf's greatest role to date. The man can fucking dig a hole, that's all I'm saying. Anyway, once Lindsay's training is finished, however, after that it's just a matter of tracking down an ethereal for Lindsay to mindfuck harder than the Joker fucked Harvey Dent in The Dark Knight. And of course that will then just put us a temple ship trip away from either ultimate victory or legendary defeat. So, looking forward to that. Not not so much the legendary defeat part, but I have a sneaking suspicion that may be involved. Anyway, we do have a little maintenance on our plate today as well. We picked up a new trooper last episode. Looks like Corporal Amy Alpha Martin here. Let's take a look at Amy. We got an Australian gear. Nice, nice Sheila there. That's the worst Australian accent of all time, and Sheila seems discourteous even from someone who's not Australian. That seems, I don't know, seems a little bit diminutive. Diminutive, anyway. Amy Martin will not stand, but we do have a blonde gal. A pretty good dumper on her. Nice face, sort of narrow, kind of pinched. We can't, of course, hear Amy talk, so we're not exactly sure what she sounds like, but I'm guessing she has a trailer trash Florida accent. You know, I bet she would sound a lot like she grew up in a double wide across from SeaWorld. And if that's the case, that she doesn't sound Australian at all, that makes this Iggy Azalea. So, let's just go with that. We're going to name her Iggy. And then we're going to do a disservice to flowers for all time by letting this girl's last name be Azalea. Sorry, plants. That's unfortunate. And for nickname, let's not get fancy. Let's just go Iggy Fancy Azalea. We'll just keep it pretty straightforward. And on the other positive note, let's hope that Iggy Fancy Azalea fancies a seat on the bench next to Larry David, because I have a sneaking suspicion that's probably where Iggy Fancy Azalea is going to be spending the rest of her career. As you can see, Iggy's aim is bad, her willpower is bad, her defense is bad, and at best we could call her speed and health average. So, Also, Iggy is a scout sniper, which we don't need. I don't need a sniper, and I damn sure don't need a scout. Although, if we did make her a sniper, she would be better than Jeff Goldberg, or Jeff Goldblum. I don't know, she wouldn't, because actually Jeff Goldblum's aim is okay, and hers is just god-awful. God-awful. It's, it's garbage water level, folks. I mean, if you were hauling the garbage out to the curb, and a little bit of Iggy Azalea's aim slipped into your shoes and made your socks squish as you walked, you'd know how bad it was. Yeah. So let's random subclass Iggy. Why do I have the suspicion she's going to wind up a rocketeer? I'm almost certain of it. Oh, nope, she's a medic. Well then, I guess a medic is the gig you get in our XCOM project when you don't ever want to go on missions ever again. You just want to sit on the bench. She must have figured, hey, if it works for Larry David, it works for me. She's got sort of a Kyphus Kane kind of theory here. Keep as many other people between you and the enemy as possible and do as little as possible in actual combat. So that works for Kyphus, except, you know, he's a hero of the fucking Imperium, and I'm pretty sure that is not the fate of Iggy Azalea here. So let's just give her our standard medic build and then stop worrying about it forever. Yeah, smoke and mirrors is fine. Thought about maybe trying something different, but the odds of us actually deploying Iggy Azalea in combat are effectively zero. They're not totally zero because there is a situation where it could possibly happen, unlike Larry David, who will never, ever see combat, ever, because fuck him, that's why. Iggy might, but it's pretty goddamn unlikely. So let's go up and get to scanning here, and on the... I'm hoping... We can get maybe a couple days of respite here and give Lindsay Lohan's much abused liver a chance to sort of purify some of the toxins infesting her bloodstream, because right now it's, it's mostly toxins. Contact detected. You gotta be kidding me. 
Oh, man, these aliens are jerks. Seriously. Of course we didn't get any time. Why would we? Apparently the only thing the aliens hate more than Lindsay Lohan's liver is broccoli. And if they hate broccoli as much as I do, which is a lot, that means they really hate Lindsay Lohan's liver. Although now that I think about it, Lindsay Lohan's liver and broccoli actually sort of have a lot in common. I mean, they're both hideous, poisoned, green lumps of pure, undiluted hate, neither one of which should be placed anywhere near your mouth. And they're both sporting more growths and scars than fucking Liam Neeson in Darkman. So, I don't know, maybe, uh, maybe hating one just sort of naturally inclines one to hate the other. Either way, this is a regular scout, so we have a not zero chance of shooting this down. Let's just send up the Sparrow. Well, okay. Yeah, we. I'm glad this is not a fighter, because if this was a fighter, I'm pretty sure our triple cadre of rookies here with a total of seven kills between them wouldn't be able to get it done, and it's four hours till the Nook comes back, so... We actually may need Sparrow to punch above his weight a bit here so we can get this thing down. If you explode it, Sparrow, I got no problems with that. If you want to straight up just send it into a titanic we fireball like the bands. Hindenburg, that's completely cool. Go ahead and do that. Nearing strike. Really all I want is you to not be just blown into Haggis. Okay, well, the non-Haggis thing is debatable, but you did get the kill, so I won't, uh, I won't pick on you too much there, Sparrow. Alright, then what do we got? This is a joke mission. This is the aliens deliberately wasting our time, is what this mission is. They're, they're just fucking with us. They're... they're mm, I'm, I'm getting salty. I'm salty at you, aliens. Yeah, I know that you're fucking with me, but that doesn't mean you can't get my goat. Just because I know you're trying to get my goat, my goat is still available for theft. And you fucking stole him. That, that's, that's one missing goat. So Thin Men, Seekers, Sectoids, and an Outsider. I don't even think we have a chance to get Illyrium from this, which we still need two of. So unless there are some components that we can salvage or something, this mission is effectively a waste of our troopers' time. What a bunch of jerks. All right, aliens. You guys want to be assholes? I'll show you asshole. You're going to send me shit? I'll combat you with shit. I'm fighting fucking fire with fire on this one. You're going to send garbage water? I'm sending you garbage water right back, and we'll just trade. And I bet my garbage is filthier than your garbage. I got Lindsay Lohan and Taylor Reed in my barracks, so you know how low I'll go. I want to send a sniper, but I'm not sending anybody good. And when it comes to snipers who aren't good, why shit Penelope Cruz? Nothing says terrible sniper like Penelope Cruz, with the possible exception of Jeff Goldblum, because that also says terrible sniper. In Jeff Goldblum's defense, though, he can't read or write, so it's unlikely he's ever actually read the sniping manual. He's firing blind, largely. Penelope Cruz, capable of reading, she is literate, I gotta give her that. That's really the only thing I'll give her. Because I will never forgive her for what she did to Johnny Depp and Blow. Seriously, Penelope Cruz, if you think I'm ever gonna forget that, I'm never gonna forget that. I hate you forever. Seraphim armor, plasma rifle, scope, laser sight, blah 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 blah. Penelope Cruz, just get out of my sight, I don't wanna have to look at you. Let's get an infantry trooper for Penelope. And this may be a Dane Cook level mission, that's how much I don't give a shit, folks. I may send Dane Cook. I know Double Old Seven and uh, Jean-Claude. Yeah, Jean-Claude Van Damme is still tired. You know what? Fuck it. Dane Cook? Welcome aboard, buddy. You're getting the call. Go, You go get him, tiger. You big, burly beast, you. Good sweet god, Dane Cook. You may be the slowest X trooper in the XCOM fucking project. You have an 11-foot speed, Dane Cook. An 11. I, I don't know of anyone who, who also has an 11. That hasn't been killed or fired yet. I really don't. Possibly Larry David, but I don't even like Larry David enough to fire him. Just whatever. This mission is a joke. We're going to treat it as such. Chris the Surgeon Brown? Absolutely not. I, we're not We're not sending anyone good on this mission. Fuck that. Tory Admiral Akbar Spelling? Absolutely. This is a perfect mission for old Tory. So, Tory, why don't you get some Titan armor? I'm going to give you a plasma carbine because you also are very slow, although not as slow as Dane Cook, which is saying something, because let's face it, Dane Cook. You know the tortoise from the tortoise and the hare? Yeah, both of them beat Dane Cook. That's that's how bad he is. Dane Cook, about a snail's pace. He's also a lance corporal. Why are you even on the team, Dane Cook? We could have gotten a trooper and had them immediately promoted to a higher rank than Dane Cook. That actually sort of seems appropriate, though, really. It seems like a, an FNG would outrank Dane Cook. If Dane Cook was on the Starship Enterprise, he'd be taking orders from Wesley Crusher. Alright, then. Let's get a gunner. I don't even give a shit who it is. 
Nah, uh, we, you know, we might do a Megan Fox or a Joss Whedon on this mission. Actually, I think Joss Whedon might be in a tube. Pretty sure Joss Whedon's in a tube. Katie Firework Perry's a little sleepy. Yeah, we got nothing else to go with, so Megan Fox, why not? We got, we got literally nothing else. There you go, Megan. It's been a while since you've been out and about. This will give you a chance to get a little exercise. I know you've recently uh, been with child, so this opportunity to work off some of that baby weight. I know you've been looking forward to that. Little scope, laser sight, high capacity mags, Megan Desert Fox is sorted. A scout and an assault trooper are still on the list. Jaden Smith. You know, it probably wouldn't hurt to have at least one psychically active trooper on the mission. I really, really don't want to send Jaden Smith out for this because it seems like an insult to Jaden Smith. Do we have an engineer available with psychic power? Sun Kang is out for a fucking hour. You lazy bastard. Ah, uh, I'm Sean Kang. I'm too good to go. Mm, yeah, I'm, I'm salty. We've got, actually, we could send Kristen Stewart. This actually seems an appropriate task for Kristen Stewart. Uh, I'm sorry, Kristen, but let's face facts. It's true. We could also send Robert V.I. Van Winkle. Sticking with, now, let's get, we, we need to give him at least one psychically active trooper. Not Jaden Smith, though. We'll save him for... Something more useful. He's still looking for an opportunity, of course, to pay the aliens back for what they did to Willow. Hasn't really got that yet, mostly because every time he encounters the aliens now, he shits himself with fear. He's basically living out the plot to After Earth. I mean, it's sort of fiction mirrors reality, or rather reality mirrors fiction. We could send Madonna. She's trash. Both, I mean, as a human being and also as a scout. Dominic Purcell... We could send him out on this as a punishment mission because he hasn't made Master Sergeant yet. And that's exactly what we're going to do, in fact. Dominic Purcell, this is your penance. You came up short last time we sent you out. Like, hilariously. Oh, never mind. I thought you were very, very short. But actually, you're pretty much the whole way short. So this will be a double punishment mission for you, then. This is the crew you get to roll with until you prove to us that you have what it takes to become a Master Sergeant, Dominic Purcell. Give you a chemical grenade. Not that I think you're going to need it. And then, of course... An arc thrower, again, not that I expect you to need it, but that's fine. Assault trooper, worst one we've got. Which is either Alan Double Thick or possibly... Well, it's definitely not Nick Stahl. I guess got a 5 to 1 kill to mission ratio. It's going to be Robin Double Thick. Alright, Double Thick. If I recall on last mission, you stood out in the open and reloaded a fucking pistol while aliens shot at you. Pretty sure that's a thing that happened. Robin Thick apparently just uh, doesn't want to disappoint... When it comes to living up to his nickname, proving trying to prove himself just as thick as possible. That's okay, Robin. We already know you're as thick as a fucking 2x4 or a brick bat, which is to say, pretty goddamn thick. Engineer, somebody's getting saddled with this fucking shitbox mission, and that somebody is Kristen Stewart. Assuming we can find her. Kristen Stewart, where the hell are you? Probably chewing on some scenery somewhere. Kristen Stewart, the one person getting shanghaied into this mission that doesn't necessarily deserve it. We're gonna go with some. We're gonna give Kristen some vortex armor just to help her willpower. It's a little low, and she's the only psychically active trooper we've got on the mission. Probably shouldn't hand her an assault rifle. Let's get her a plasma carbine instead. Battle scanners, alien grenades. That's got her sorted. Everyone else looks well kitted out. We just need a mech trooper here for our mech unit. No massive surprises here. We'll just go with whatever is available. I'm tempted to send Taylor Swift, but it seems unnecessarily mean. We shouldn't really punish... Let's... You know what? Let's send Ashley Tycoon Olsen here. We're going with Team R here. Let's uh, let's just kind of stick with the theme. So Pally Suit then for Ashley O. She's going to get the combo plate, of course. Grenade Launcher, Electro Pulse. Delirium Turbos or Tactical Sensors? Ashley's pretty quick. She gets bonuses also when she... You know what? Let's go with the Illyrium Turbos so that we can try and get her in a perfect position to make her take as much advantage as possible of her light em up ability. So let's get her sorted. Let's get stuck in. Let's get this shit show over with. I actually kind of feel bad for what I'm doing to Kristen Stewart here. And my hatred for Kristen Stewart and her soulless thousand yard stellar is pretty well documented at this point. I do not like Kristen Stewart even a little. I would rather punch myself in a dick than be exposed to Kristen Stewart. And I still feel bad for sending her on this mission with this team. The next Operation Black Crown. 
The downed UFO is in a densely populated urban area. Clearly, Bradford. On the plus side, Bradford at least giving this team the intelligence that they deserve. I feel that the quality of his briefing is appropriate to the quality of the team. Nicely done, Bradford. Maybe Bradford's just fucking with him because he hates him too. I'm gonna go with that. That's probably what he's doing. Alright, so we've seen this map a uh, time or 20. We should uh, have no problem coming up with an assault strategy for this. Penelope Cruz, why don't you assume the mission position, even though you don't have double tap, so for you the mission position is dramatically less effective than it is for literally anyone else who might be in that position. Also, we're never going to forgive you for what you did to Johnny Depp, so don't think I forgot between now and the last time I said it, which was literally only minutes ago. But uh, I'm never going to forget Penelope Cruz, not in a hundred thousand years. You will never be forgiven. Tori Spelling putting out a uh, little battle scanner for us. Tori spotted a whole lot of nothing. That's fine. Let's get uh, old k Stu. We'll bring k Stu over here. We'll have her deploy a battle scanner for us as well. Typically pod spawn opportunities sort of over in this general vicinity. Kristen, you going to... My name is Kristen Stewart. I don't know the difference between a battle scanner or a grenade, ever. I can't pick one over the other, and I always choose whichever one is wrong. That's the one thing Kristen Stewart knows how to do. Getting whichever one you need, Kristen Stewart knows how to throw the other one. And then immediately forgets when it comes time to deploy that should it be necessary. Is that battle music? I can't tell if we revealed a pod there or not. I don't believe we did, otherwise uh, Penelope Cruz would have... Yeah, she'd have some targets. All right. So our enemies are going to be up in that region, which is honestly fully what we were expecting. Jesus Christ, Dane Cook. Ten four. Oh, mm -hmm. I hate him more than I hate his comedy. I do, I do. And I hate Dane Cook's comedy more than I fucking hate Broccoli. Which is a lot. Alright. Double thick, let's just advance you to this log. Should be fine. Penelope Cruz, just go on Overwatch. We don't even care about you anymore. Nobody cares about you, Penelope Cruz. No one has cared about you since Sahara, Penelope Cruz. You ruined a Matthew McConaughey film, and that's hard to do, because that guy is just a hunky, good-looking, top-quality actor who's just a nice, congenial fellow. Sure, he's a little doofy, and yeah, a lot of people have problems with him for being a dumbass, but you put that guy in front of a camera, he's fucking box office gold. That's what Matthew McConaughey is. Ashley O going to take a little bit of a uh, Overwatch shot here. And that is a kill. One shot, one kill for Ashley O. Nicely done, Ashley. It's a good thing we sent Ashley Olsen on this mission because we sort of need to have somebody who can do something. And I have a feeling that Ashley Olsen is going to be that someone and probably the only one to do anything. Especially since Megan Fox can't see shit from there. Ashley O's got some shots. 251 percenters at this thin man. If she gets a single hit, it should be a kill. I'm comfortable letting her double up here. Why do I have a feeling I'm about to regret this second shot deeply? Negative damage on target. Okay, so I I don't regret it as deeply as I was expecting, but I also don't not regret it. What else can we do? Robin thick thick. We could have double thick take a run and gun that could probably net us a kill. Honestly, we should probably deploy a battle scanner here. Let's see if we can find those seekers. Scanning. If only to possibly give a target for Megan Fox. I'm, I'm glad we did that. Megan Fox now will have a target. She can take a cheap kill on a Seeker. That'll work out nicely for us. Come back to you in a little while, Penelope Cruz, because you're not worthy of our attention. This is a can't miss. Absolute guaranteed kill for Megan Fox. There we go. Nice. 14 damage critical. Nice output, Megan. Got no complaints with what you're bringing to the table. I actually feel worse about sticking Megan Fox on this mission than I do about sticking Kristen Stewart on the mission. Good God, you're terrible, Tori Spelling. Just take your miserable shot here. Yeah, thanks for missing. Of course, you do have fish eyes, so I, I can't hold that entirely against you. Why I would expect you to hit anything with what is rap video goggle vision all the time. Bye bye. Really, it's uh, it's my own fault. Let's advance Dane position. Cook to this log. Case do. Surprisingly, may be able to do something for us with a grenade here. She can throw these bad boys a long way, but eh, not quite far enough. All right, we were hoping for a little more range from Case 2, but we didn't get it. Let's see if uh, Penelope Cruz can finish off the injured guy. She almost can't not. This is a 100% chance to hit. I can't imagine that weapon's going to do fewer than three damage. It certainly did not. So we've eliminated, I think, everything we've found except for a single solitary thin man. 
who I basically guarantee we could kill if we wanted to with uh, Double Thick here. The question is, are we going to spawn another pod and then leave Double Thick in jeopardy? The answer to that question is probably yes. And you know what? When it comes to doing stupid stuff, do I'm just going to let Double Thick handle it. This is uh, this is your new mandate, Double Thick. Oh, way to be. Nicely done, Double Thick. That's, uh, that's real good, buddy. Real good. Yeah, so go ahead and kill the tough guy. Double Thick, once again, showing a strong proclivity to get himself fucking shot in the head. And this uh, this mission apparently is going to be no different than the last time we took Robin Double Thick Thick out. And he got himself shot in the head. Well, enjoy this, Double Thick. This is not going to tickle. He got mine merged by what? Also, why did they bother? This has got to be almost a can't-miss shot. You've got to be kidding me. Robin Double Thick Thick is the luckiest human on the planet. When we get back to XCOM headquarters, we're going to take Robin Double Thick Thick to the gas station. We're going to buy every goddamn lotto ticket in a fucking dump. Because he's going to fucking win. I can't believe that. The aliens are playing like me. I mean, that's the kind of thing I would have done... Well, I was going to say 50 episodes ago when I was the worst player, but... Let's face it, I have not improved any at all in 50 episodes. That's the kind of thing I would have done in their same position, I guess. And I expect better from the aliens, frankly. I, I expect them to be better than that. Nice. So what have we killed? Two Seekers, two Thin Men, two Sectoids. So we're down six total. I don't even remember how many were on this mission. Fourteen, maybe, I Running. think? I lost track because I don't care. I don't care about this team. I don't care about their success. I really don't care about anything other than getting Lindsay Lohan in the tube and getting fucking mind control. With the possible obsession of... <laughs> Exception, oh yeah. It's an exsexy situation. No. What I meant to say was with the possible exception of also getting Tara Reed and John Rat Leguizamo in the tube to get them mind control too, I have a feeling, given the difficulty of mind controlling in Ethereal, it's probably going to take us more than one person to get it done. And you got to be shitting me, Double Thick. I hate you so much right now. All right, double thick. Do. Just try and get in a place where the enemy can't see you. It's your only defense. Like Randy in uh, A Christmas Story, you can just go over there and lay there like a slug. You have no other kind of defense, so go and act plan slug. Already there. Admiral Akbar is gonna wander her way up. Hey, Admiral Akbar, you really kind of <laughs> dropped the ball on that one. Shouldn't you maybe have warned old double thick that it's a trap? I mean, that's your one fucking job, Tory Spelling, and you didn't even do it. You had one job, Tori Spelling. One job. All you had to do was yell, It's a trap! That's all you had to do. 64 and a 49. Those are reasonable shots. I'd like to see if we could get Case Stu um, up with a little cover destruction, perhaps, before we sort of enact that plan. That may draw Overwatch, though. This should not. There we go. I think Case Stu will probably be able to get one that far. She can, in fact, get one that deep. That's good. Also, Kristen Stewart, please, as is your custom now, every time we have you throw anything, I want you to double check. Is that a round sphere with a blinking red light? Or is it a sort of oblong green object with no lights that does not blink? It's the green one? Okay, well now, I want you to associate green with pineapple, and then pineapple with grenade, and then go ahead and throw that at the enemy. Frag out. Remember, green means pineapple, pineapple means good, because they're good to eat. And good means throw at enemy. I shouldn't say that. That's going to confuse her. If I tell her to throw good stuff at the enemy, she's going to start, you know, tossing them candy and other treats. That's probably a terrible idea. Dominic Lockdown Purcell, how do you feel about getting shot? I'm going to guess okay, because you get shot on Overwatch all the time. At this point, you should sort of be acclimated to it. Surprisingly, you managed to avoid it this time. I'm... Yeah, that's... Okay. Well done, Dominic Purcell. We weren't expecting that. We, we really weren't. Double Thick, who started all this problem in the first place. Let's see if Good maybe go. Dane Cook can get a shot here. Oh. Um, let's just advance Dane then to that rock. In the unlikely event that we can't clean this mess up this turn, which I fully expect us to be able to clean it up, actually. But in the unlikely event that for some reason we cannot clean it up, Take this shot, Lockdown. That's a solid hit. Hollow targeting as well. 
But as I was saying, in the unlikely event that for some reason we can't clean this fucking train wreck up, we, uh... Dominic's gonna get killed. Oh, and suddenly this is a can't-miss shot? Well, you can go ahead and take that, then. I'm guessing between the hollow targeting and the destruction of cover, Megan Fox is gonna be able to drill that man right in his head. And here comes another shot from Megan. Nicely done. Eight damage on a shred. Alright, so all of my fears about us not being able to get this done are pretty much assuaged at this point. I, I don't predict us failing. I'm on my way. Then again, you know... I also predicted that the canyons would make a box office profit since they shot it for 50 grand, but I was wrong about that one. Never thought something so cheap that would turn to fail a profit, but fuck, I was completely... You're kidding me, that's it? You know what? I'm, I can't even be disappointed that it ended early. Also, Ashley Olsen looking quite dynamically sound in that armor, especially with the big skull and the death mark there. That's a pretty intimidating pose there, Ashley Ol, I gotta say. Would never have expected you to be the giant bruiser in a squad, but then, bam, three tons of metal death machinery, and Ashley Olsen is suddenly a titanic bruiser. She's our thug now. She's come a long way. I'm kind of spelling, little girl. She's growing up. Sun Kang back on duty. How'd that extra hour of sleep do you, Sun Kang? Are you ready to really take on the world now that you got that extra five minutes? I'm fucking going down to the barracks and taking away your snooze button, Sun Kang. I'm taking the it away. better get it together. And we're gonna mop the floor with them. Oh, come on, Bradford. That was a joke mission. We sent a joke team on a joke mission. I have to assume, then, that you were also making a joke. Maybe that's that's the takeaway there. Robin Double Thick got a promotion. We're gonna give him close encounters, because it's amazing. Uh, you know what they say. Only the good die young, in which case this fucking douchebag is gonna live for 10,000 years. Alright, Robin Thick, Piece of shit. Whatever. There was a mission. Things happened. Sep okay, fantastic. This is the only thing I give a shit about. Team Joke Mission actually got shit done for us and got us enough Illyrium to build another particle cannon. I'm pretty pleased now, suddenly, with the way that uh, Team Joke Mission came out. I was uh, concerned, and, and we do need to get more Illyrium because I realized I'm going to have to build some more, uh, more Titan armor and possibly some more Archangel armor as well. Both of which take considerable amounts of Illyrium, so... Really interested in beginning to stockpile that. So even these useless missions, I suppose, aren't entirely useless. They are going to allow us to pick up a few needed materials. Now, granted, we don't need a whole lot of those. We uh, just need enough, basically, to build a particle cannon, and I think probably two more suits of Titan armor should be enough to cut the bill. Particle cannon, though, we're going to start that right away. So Dr. Chen here, if you would, sir. Where's the particle cannon? There it is. Get started on that shit. Ooh, yeah. Thank you, sir. All right. And that takes care of our last alien heavy weapon. We don't have any more. I'm not entirely sure we need any more. I don't foresee us wanting anything that has the alien heavy weapon as an ingredient that we haven't already got queued up for building or haven't already completed. And with that done, then, I think we'll go ahead and wrap things up. Of course, if you enjoyed the episode, feel free to drop a like down in the comment section. Your support does mean a lot to us. And, of course, it means especially much to Robin Double Thick Thick. Watching him struggle as a stupid human on the planet. He really does appreciate it. If you drop a like, it means the world to him. If you'd like to see more daily XCOM, of course, including these continuing struggles of Robin Thick Thick to deal with a world that's often overwhelming due to his punishing stupidity, you can consider subscribing as well. New episodes go up every day. But right now, thanks very much for watching, and we and Robin Thick Thick will see you again soon.